The best way to spice up any jacket is to slap on some patches and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do that without using a sewing machine and without further ado Let's begin. The jacket that I'm gonna be spicing up today is this plain black denim jacket. And as you can see, nothing special, just plain, simple, and clean. One pro tip that I have to say is that the jacket that you wanna attach your patch on, it should be made of a tough fabric, right? Most ideally, cotton or denim. Do not use your fabric with low melting points, especially man-made materials such as your polyester and your nylon. Now, I'm gonna add on a few patches to my jacket, my initials, EZ a tiger and the great wave of Kanagawa. The tiger symbolizes fierceness and grit and the Kanagawa wave symbolizes irresistible force. I like my patches to have meanings. If you like these patches, I'll link them down in the description below if you want to check them out. Anyways, before adding the patches onto my jacket, let's talk about what do we need. Now, most of the patches comes with adhesive behind like this shiny, shiny thing, which is for ironing on your jacket. So of course, firstly, we need an iron and an ironing board, but we don't have to if we want to stitch it on for sewing, we'll need needle and thread, of course, some safety pins, which is optional, and finally, a piece of scrap cloth, which I will explain later. That is basically all you need. Okay, first step, turn on your iron and preheat it to the cotton setting. Most of the time, it is setting number three. Then iron the area that you wanna place the patch on to flatten it. After that, place the patch in position and place a piece of scrap cloth over the patch to protect it from over burning and discoloring. And then you just press the iron onto the patch for about 10 to 15 seconds. Check if the patch is attached to the fabric. Now, it is not a must to use the scrap cloth. You can iron onto the patch directly if you want to heat up the patch more efficiently. Then turn over to the back of the jacket and iron iron the back for another 10 to 15 seconds. This is to make sure that we iron both sides and make sure that the adhesive completely melts. After that, just give it a minute or so for the patch to cool down, then check if it has already been firmly attached to the jacket. Now, if you iron on the patch, then it will be permanent, right? If you tear the patch off, it will damage the fabric. But if you don't want to iron it on, if you want to be able to remove your patch in the future, if you want to, then the best way is to sew it on. And even if you decide to iron it on, it is still better to stitch around the patch to make sure that the patch is more firmly attached to the jacket. If you are sewing it on without using an iron, then you will have to use a pin to fix the patch in place first. Then we're gonna thread our needle. It will be much easier if you have a needle threader and you just bam and then tie a knot at the end of the thread and you just start stitching the patch onto the jacket. Just some simple straight stitch going up and down and up and down, nothing fancy. Another tip here is to use the same color thread as the color of the rim of your patch so as to camouflage the thread and after you are done, tie another knot, cut away the excess thread and just like that, bam, one patch done. Now I'm gonna attach the rest of the patches onto my jacket. Let's cue the time lapse. Now for this step, you gotta be a little bit patient. It took me about 20 minutes to 30 minutes each patch. And while you're at it, you can listen to music or some audiobook. But anyways, it's gonna be worth it. And voila, that is how you attach your patches onto your jacket DIY style without using a sewing machine. Check out the before and the after. Instantly elevates your denim jacket look. And that is it for today's video. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button if you like this video. I appreciate it. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Have a great day, y'all, and I'll see every single one of you in my next video. Bam!